Hello everybody, how are you? I am here bringing you a message that I received yesterday. So, it's all about how we are feeling disconnected, how this is and anything, anything, anything that we think and or believe that needs healing, it's all made up in this three-dimensional realm. So in the three-dimensional realm, we are living our experiences in this three-dimensional dense body. And the body is dense, is heavy, and it's not just heavy in, in density or weight. It is also heavy with old beliefs and old, yeah, their beliefs, beliefs that we have gathered through our parents, through conditioning, through society, through thousands of lives in ancestors areas. Say hi if you're here. Um, and that's not who we really are. When, who we really are is pure, infinite light and love. Creators, we're creators. But here's the key thing, this is what happened. And they gave me this beautiful, beautiful way of explaining it in the three-dimensional world. Hi, Jasmine. Thanks for saying hi. Um, I see you. This is such a beautiful message. I'm so glad you're here to hear it live. So when we are disconnected from source, from God, hi, Jessica, from um, the divine, that is, we don't believe that we are God or the divine or the creator. And we don't believe this because that has been the narrative for thousands of years. And so generations after generations have told us that we're not that, that God is separate from us, that it is something out there or up there and separate, and that we are here, right? Just this. And that's not us. We are, in fact, the creator, the light, the divine. And so we can really dig deep into feeling worthless, feeling not worthy of being it. That's the biggest one. It's like, why and how could I be worthy of being the divine or God when I'm just this lonely, lowly person who makes mistakes, who has thoughts that are not of the highest frequency, who um, lashes out in anger, so who am I to actually call myself or see myself as the divine, which is supposed to be pure love and light? I am not worthy of that. And therefore, that thought, that belief is what keeps us separate from the divine, from our divine, uh, from our own divinity, and from being able to believe it. So the way that they showed it to me is, imagine a lamp. So you have a lamp, whatever lamp, it doesn't matter. And this lamp is you're just holding it, it's unplugged. And you're looking at it and you're like, this lamp is disconnected, right? It's disconnected, this is how we are. We feel disconnected, we are disconnected. We believe we're disconnected, therefore we are disconnected. So here's the lamp, it's disconnected, it's not plugged into anywhere. And you're like, oh, this, this lamp doesn't work. This lamp doesn't have any light, this lamp cannot do anything it's just standing there it's worthless it's what do we do with it it's just keeping dust it's not doing anything maybe we should get rid of it let's just get rid of it it's not worth anything this lamp and you keep looking at all the faulty things about this lamp because it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing which is to bring light and that's you that's us we're here to bring light but the belief that we are disconnected from the divine is what keeps us being just this unplugged lamp. So as soon as you take the cord and you plug it into the wall, source, God, energy, all, as soon as you plug that lamp into the wall, what happens? It connects to the electricity of the grid, of wherever it is that you're getting electricity from, right? You don't even have to know where. You don't even have to know where the cables are coming from. You just know that in your home, 
um, your place where you live, if you plug something into that socket, you're going to get electricity. And if you get electricity, then it's going to power up the device, whatever device it is. And you may know that there are wires running around your apartment or the walls or your house that, you know, you can plug things in, in any outlet and you can receive that. And then you know that somehow these cables are connected to something outside of your house that brings electricity. And from there, you're like, you kind of know that there's some type of grid that is connecting all of these cables that bring electricity to all the homes, but you don't actually know. You don't know which cable it, it's the one that brings it to your home. You don't know how it's actually traveling. You just don't know these things and it's okay. You just accept it and you take it and that's fine. And that's the same way that we are. When we are feeling down, depressed, sad, anger, jealous, all of those lower frequency human feelings is because we are feeling disconnected from that wall. We feel like this worthless lamp that does nothing. It has no shine. It has no light. It doesn't do anything for anyone. Therefore, what is it for? Why is it even here? Is it just collecting dust? Should they just get rid of it, right? That's the thought, and that's how we feel about ourselves. That's when we as light workers get down to whatever's happening in your life, our lives, and we feel like things are not working or they're not showing up for us, and we're like, might as well just throw this lamp on the ground, on, on, on the trash, because it's really not worth it. Like, what's the point of keeping it? And that's when we go down in that path of like, is life even worth it? Is, it? is it even worth it for me to continue down this path that I thought was supposed to bring me light? And when you connect, when you connect the lamp or yourself to the wall, to the electricity or yourself to source, that's when you immediately, right away, get that energy flowing through the veins or in the case of the lamp, flowing through the wires and then you can turn on that lamp and then you're like, oh, it has light. Wow, look at this. I have light. It illuminates things. This is amazing. I love it. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing, shining its light. And that's all we need to do in order to believe that we are the divine God. All we have to do is plug in to the divine, to God, to source, to higher self, to whatever or whomever it is that you believe in. It could be the Buddha or, I don't know, all, all different types of names that we give God from different parts of the world. It doesn't matter because it's all the same God. We just have different human names for it. Just plug in. And as soon as you plug in, you'll feel that energy run through your veins. And then you can feel your light go on. The light that's always been within you, you just forgot to plug yourself in. So this is a huge, a huge aha moment, a huge uh, message that I received yesterday that I wanted to come and share with you. Jasmine says, this really resonates with me. Oh, I'm so glad, Jasmine. I love it. I love it. Me too. So how do we plug in? That might be the question you're asking, right? Well. How do I plug in? So just like you have a lamp and you know that the socket on the wall will provide electricity to it. You know that these little prongs, when plugged in there, they're going to do it and then you can turn on the switch. It's the same thing, right? So you know that there is a divine, a God, a higher self, even if you're in the space of I'm separate and God is out there and I'm down here. Even if you are in that space, you know that there is something bigger, greater, or you believe that there's something bigger and greater, which we're going to call God, just to use one word. And how do we plug into that God, even if I feel or think or believe that I'm separate from God? Well, that's when you meditate, you go within, you pray, right? If you're in some type of religion, praying is what connects you, right? And all that is, is closing your eyes because closing your eyes physically brings you within, within your heart. So you close your eyes and you begin to imagine that you're connecting. And the connection can be a prayer, 
a mantra, um, affirmation, it could be an ask, it could be anything, right? Anything that you are intending to make this connection. So you make, oh, automatic writing. They just said automatic writing. So automatic writing, you can do writing on an actual paper with a pen, a pencil, and you can close your eyes and write because you're bringing all the energy within. I'm going within, and then I'm trying to put this output of what I'm trying to do. Here's my dog making himself comfortable in my bed. Um, anyway, so you're doing that and you're connecting and the only intention that is needed is to connect. That's it. The only intention because you have the lamp and the only thing you need to do is plug it in the wall. And as soon as you plug it in the wall, the energy begins to instantly flow through the cords through the wires of that lamp, even if the lamp is turned off. You, you know there's electricity there because you know you're not supposed to cut the wire with scissors, which is metal, because then you probably get electrocuted, right? Don't do that. Um, so this energy, you're already connected once you plug it in. So to plug in with the divine, with God, with the creator, all you have to do is put that intention of connecting that's it just connect not the intention of help me do this I want to create that manifest this nothing just connect connect that's it just like putting the plug into the wall and what they're saying right now what I'm receiving right now is if you need to and you like this metaphor of the wall and the lamp and the plug putting it into the wall then you can use that and you can imagine yourself as being the lamp and you can imagine the wall as being God creator. And can you, you can imagine yourself in your um, meditation or imagination that you are plugging yourself in. And that metaphor, if you set it out that I'm the lamp disconnected, that wall is God creator. And you imagine yourself as being the lamp and you imagine yourself plugging that wire that into the socket of the wall that connects you, you will immediately begin to feel the energy run through your veins so that you can begin to feel that connection. And then if you want to turn on the light <laughs> with the switch, then that's when you connect with your heart. So at that point, you can hold to your heart. You can physically put your hand or your hands on your heart and that's how you turn on the switch is what they're saying. Or you can just turn on the switch imagining that you're turning on the switch of the lamp in your imagination as you're creating that part. That soul exercise of you connecting to God and that's the purpose just to connect will bring you to be able to begin to believe, if not already actually believe, but if you're not there yet, it's okay. You can begin to believe and see yourself as being part of God, connected to God, the creator. And as you're created and connected to that God area, the wall with the, with the electricity and the, and the plug with the lamp, as you're connecting to it, you realize that you have all the power that that electricity of God has. When you plug in the lamp onto the wall, you're not getting certain amount of amps. Okay, you can argue, yes, it's only a certain amount that allows to come in, but you're getting all the electricity. This is why if you cut it, you can get electrocuted because you're touching the entire force of electricity that's coming connected to the wires that are attached to this. Does that make sense? Oh, there goes Pluto. <laughs> Stretching. Um, so you're connected to all of it, not just a part of it. You're connected to all of it. So I hope this helps. I hope this helps you see yourself more connected to or how to connect to the divine part of yourself so that you can gain the power that is within you, which is the actual power of God. If you think or believe in an entity called God that is all-powerful, 
all seeing, can be at all places at the same time, that is your power. That is exactly who you are, all of it. And it's so difficult to see it, to believe it, to see yourself as that because you're in this physical, very limited body. So it's difficult to say, well, how can I be everywhere at once? I mean, I have this dense physical body. I crash through the walls. I cannot go in the sky and fly. And all of those things are just the limitations of the avatar, which is your body, but it's not you. This is why when you meditate or imagine, imagine yourself doing something or being something, you're there in a second because that's actually who and what you are. You're not this body. You are the consciousness that is creating the thought, the idea, the imagination. Does that make sense? Let me know how this feels. It's very profound, guys. There's going to be more I'm going to be telling you about what happened yesterday and all the stuff that I received, but I'm just not ready for it because I'm still integrating. But this part did come through really strongly to share and actually I wanted to come up earlier and and share it and it, had, it just like left my brain I was like what was I was supposed to say and then I was meditating just now and it came back and I was like oh that's what I had to say <laughs> so um I just decided to just come on live right now and say it before it leaves my mind again before I forget it this is why it's so important to journal people because if you're not journaling you're going to forget this beautiful drops of wisdom that you're receiving daily constantly all the time and you're just taking them for granted as a thought or an idea and then you don't write it down you don't put it down your human mind sends it to the back as not having happened not possible not being worthy of holding on to this fabulous idea or thought or amazing um aha moment all of those things come in because you're human, you're in a human body. So write them down or speak them out somewhere so you can have that there, so you can have that um, notation or documentation so you can go back to it when it's really needed. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for being here. I love you so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye.